Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick. And it's Deaconess Intern Elizabeth. And uh, we're here to start out your Friday morning devotionals. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to be utilizing the litany, which is uh, in your hymnal on page 288. But before we get there, we're going to open up with a hymn, uh, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. We're going to do verses 1 and 2. Okay. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the prince of glory died, my riches came. Okay, if you'd like to turn now to page 288, and I will do all the leader parts, and Elizabeth will do the parts uh, Mark C, and you can follow along with her. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare us, good Lord. Be gracious to us. Help us, good Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Help us, good Lord. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment. Help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word, and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and the causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To raise those who fall, and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows, to provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage, and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. We implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. 
Grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. We're going to pray now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, we did get one prayer request that came in this morning on the uh, church answering machine. Uh, it is for the, uh, the Kayser family. Uh, apparently, Eva's eldest sister, uh, Emma Corez, passed away um, at 4 o'clock this morning. So we will uh, remember them here in our prayers now and also ask that you remember them um, in yours at home. <clears throat> let's, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessing this morning upon our nation and our country and our world as we continue to shelter in place, abiding by the wishes of those um, whom you have placed in authority over us. We ask, Lord, that you grant us peace in our homes, that this time would be used to grow in our faith and to uh, do our daily devotions and, and come to you in prayer and um, to be good neighbors, Lord, to those around us. We especially pray, Lord, for the Kayser family this morning as Eva mourns the passing of her sister and pray that you would uh, abide with them and comfort them with the good news of the resurrection, uh, that they may look forward to a joyful reunion one day in the life to come. All this, Lord, and whatever else is in our hearts and minds this day, we remember in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Uh, all right, Elizabeth, do you have any announcements? Um, just... Pray that everyone stays safe and continue to check your email and text for any updates with uh, activities here at church or um, orders from the state. <laughs> so. And um, also don't forget to tune in on Sunday morning at 1030 for our live YouTube broadcast. We do have a new microphone in the pulpit, so even if my microphone isn't good for some other parts of the service, uh, we will have good audio uh, this Sunday for the message. So. Hope that you can join us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you and, and hearing from you soon. Uh, please email us if you have any prayer requests or any needs. God bless. Amen.